Okay, the next team is number 22, team 22. And to begin, uh, their appetizer is a, a bacon-wrapped scallop. Uh, this scallop was perfectly done, a nice creamy uh, texture, and again, just very pleasant on the palate, what, what we would expect uh, for a delicate scallop. Uh, on the other hand, there was a little bit too much bacon on the plate, uh, which introduced uh, just too much fat. Uh, on one hand, bacon is popular and bacon flavor can be pleasant, but in this case, it was a little bit overwhelming. Uh, also, the, the scallop, which is that main component that we're selling, uh, was hidden by the guacamole on top. And if we can reconfigure this plate so that we show off the, the scallops, I think you, you'll have uh, an excellent concept. Uh, and then also, back uh, off on the quantity of food on the plate, again, just a little bit heavy for a starter. We'd like to have our guests uh, still feeling good as they move on to the main course, uh, not, not over full at this first stage. The, the next item was the entree, uh, which was a sockeye salmon. And uh, so overall, the salmon and potatoes uh, were presented uh, in terms of quantity, uh, they, were, they were presented perfectly. Uh, the, the salmon, however, could have been seared a little bit more. The, uh, the surface color was, wasn't particularly eye appealing. So to get a little bit more caramelization on that surface, uh, I think would make that jump out to the consumer. Uh, and then also the, the three islands of slaw uh, were a little bit heavy uh, in comparison to you know, the, the plate size as well as the amount of potatoes and the, the salmon. Uh, again, the salmon making up that main component. Uh, the intention was drawn away from that main component to the slaw. Uh, and then the last tip on the slaw, uh, it was shredded. And I think in a presentation like this, one that is uh, uh, it's uh, upscale casual or, or upscale, uh, to show off your knife cuts uh, would be most appropriate. So we can move away from a, a less casual, what, what you might even call a, a picnic sort of a presentation in the shredded uh, slaw components and, and show off those knife cuts. Last up is the dessert, uh, the dark chocolate midnight mousse. Uh, the name itself is kind of a mouthful and, and actually a little bit redundant. Uh, if, you're, if we're advertising, uh, oh, let's say a, a midnight mousse, that probably Im implies dark chocolate. And so probably no need to mention both of those, but just choose one or the other. Um, the, the, the filling, the mousse uh, uh, component was a little bit dense, a little bit too dense uh, and, and coarse in texture for the target uh, consistency of a mousse. And uh, I mean, on, on the other hand, it probably would have made a, a, a beautiful truffle filling. Uh, it was certainly flavorful. Uh, the anglaise component on the plate was right on. The smoothness, the, the texture, the, the, uh, um, the finish on that flavor was perfect. Uh, the raspberry sauce, uh, while nicely presented, very artistically presented, was, was a little bit thick, a little bit gloppy. And if that can be thin down to match the consistency of the anglaise, uh, then I think you'd have a, a nice balance on the palate.